let's draw a goat here we go I start you know sketching it's not really sketching it is scribbling I start just just putting some graphite on the paper without thinking about precision without thinking about anything this is a kind of uh, energy uh, drawing sometimes I like oftentimes I simply draw the energy but other times I scrabble like this and then I took the proportions which are very very important white against height and you see the height is one and a half the height is one and a half the the height the the, blah, blah, the height is one and a half the white so it's the general proportion are the most important things and then I start with this proportion in my mind I start sketching a little more precisely the forms the profile here and this line is really important this inclination is really really important you see I this is one of the line that determines really the shape of this of this head here we have the other side with the eye it's a let's say it's a three-quarter it's three-quarter view maybe a seven eight view no it's a, it's a three-quarter view yeah it's a three-quarter view of this this goat and this white it's let's see here I want to put the ear correctly and I go down and I sketch the ear it's nice this ear I like how this I this ear folds you, you see and then I sketch the fold here we go folds here and goes there and ends there's I outline this this piece of four this here's here and then the neck now mouth you see the general profile the mouth is a good point of reference in this picture I I know where to put it I have the right proportions so I can put it well and then the nose which is almost in shadows you see it's just starting to take form it's quite nice when drawing an animal you you have some differences in portraying a human it's easier because you don't you don't have to be so precise because of four because everybody it's a goat nobody will will say uh, it's not a precise portrait of the goat so you need less precision even if even because of four which alters the forms but it has some difficulty once is that you cannot know the anatomy of all the animals and so you are less assisted by anatomy knowledge when you when you draw a human face you have to know your anatomy here we it's not so possible and then because of four it's like drawing hair everywhere and it's it can be tiresome here I'm looking the proportion always check for the relationship between the features for the general proportion and the relationship between the features I always say it's much more important where you put something than how you draw it a beautiful eye in the wrong place it's just wrong and then we sketch the horns I like these horns these horns are not so big but they uh, they have this this pretty twist which is gracious 
I, I find this goat and so on. You know, it's yeah, maybe. I think that that the other goats find it find him quite of a quite handsome. Yeah. Then we outlined all the and you see the eyes are really different. You see the distance because it's an herbivore, so eyes are put are very distant between one between one to the other, and they are um, tilted on the side in order to have a wider perspective. They can scan. They they can see all the horizon without. They can scan the horizon without turning the head, in order to 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 spot predator. Uh, much much more easy we, we we have we humans have kind of predator eyes they are on the front side and they look in the same direction so we have to turn our head to scan the horizon but so when you draw the eyes of an herbivore animal you tend to draw them too close because you are habituated to draw human human eyes. And now you see I'm starting I I drawn the, the principal dark spots just to have a reference point and now I start to outline some of the four and some of the shadows. You see when drawing four you have different ways of doing it. Uh, someone who was really into it likes to draw every single hair they they draw very detailed drawing and i'm really too lazy for that i prefer the easy way which is letting the brain of the observer to fill fill the gaps we have to choose wisely our subject but we have always to choose wisely and we use we will see we just outline some hair and we use the shadow part let's let's see now we, I will show you now that's the dark that's the dark spot here and here you see the this shadow under the eye and I sketch it and then we just draw here here's hairs on the transition from the shadow shadow to the the light and we leave blank the other parts and we let the brain of the observer to fill the gaps this is um, this obtain various things once is much easier twice by um, making the brain of the observer work you you make the drawing more compelling they feel more drawn to it they work on it they draw with you in a certain way and then i find and second i always find that simplification it's something that almost always give more strength to your drawing i'm not into drawing every single detail i'm not a copycat i don't i don't think it's my job to do that i prefer to simplify the shadow to render them more readable to suggest in a clear way the forms because simplifying you 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 render often time your drawing more interesting and here we have this beautiful cast shadow that is the shadow of the horn if you see we have the light that comes from a bow clearly from a bow and so the the horn project a cast shadow and then we have this downside of the of the head which is in shadow always choose even for animals choose drawing that are properly lit because 
for a portrait drawing it's really clear you cannot draw with any photograph if you have a photo reference and you cannot and if you draw uh, from a live model you cannot light it in any way you have to have one source of light that must send a very clear and unidirectional light and so with with an animal especially because of four that give that make us that makes more difficult for us to render the tridimensionality of the forms i've seen ma many many times um, drawing of animals tend to be a little flat we don't want that we want to render the the form the fact that it's a tridimensional form in space so we have to use shadow and the end also as we've seen you see i draw some hair from the shadow that goes to the light and you have the, the illusion of a four you know laziness it's it's the mother of invention and we have this beautiful cast shadow under the chin which is uh, almost the same that in human head we have we have this but this shadow here is on the goatee it's a goat and it has a goatee naturally let's darken the nose and go here this this part of the chin is pretty difficult because it's pretty in, entirely in shadow but not entirely i must suggest the form but but leaving it in shadow and then we go da down to the goatee which is free no, i don't i don't copy it hair by hair because it, it's useless It, it changes its disposition, so why bother? And then we have this part that is in the shadow. It's really important to render it. A little more four here, here, and here. You see, just some line gives the illusion of a four. And this, this is another cast shadow under the the mandible. Which is the one that also human have when you have a, a human head a light lit from a bow you you have this nice shadow under the chin that puts the neck in shadow and makes the 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 head really stick out of the paper it's a it's a good lighting it's a good way of lighting your subject and then we go on four now we we work on the middle tones we work on details a little more. Here we have more, a little darker here in this eye. I find difficult in animals, as I see before, this disposition of the eyes in herbivore is kind of difficult for me because it's really, really different from human eyes. And it's kind of easy to make it look dumb you 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 make them look you you it's easy to give them a a, a look that is not really not intelligent and then we go to the horns we simplify it we, we want to stick out and oftentimes as we see simplifying is a way of make something realistic out outlining the the gross forms here we have some yeah some differentiation then we have this other part that turns I like the twist I, I just said but I like the twist of this horn it's good and we have these lines I, I'm, you know I am and I don't know why it, horns at this maybe it's the way they grow maybe it's like it's like the the line on a tree that they grow years by years you really, really don't know it's not it's not in my knowledge and then we we see they we have other lines here here 
we are simplifying we render rendering the form and simplifying the form here we go it's start start to yeah that's light here here that stress this line that gives movement that gives a uh, good yeah mm. the here here and here is starting to take for the other horn I like this horn I like very much this horn the the perspective of this horn and which gives really the, the, the profundity the depth illusion because it goes on the other side and gives and help me really help me to give a tridimensional uh, aspect a tridimensional feeling of my drawing I I like it I I really attract I, I like this gold it's, it's kind of you see it's kind of majestic it has a, a serious look in his face it's like he's reflecting on something and then we go here and it's quite enough we rendered this horn it's it's farther it's farther so it must be le a little less defined because if if we define it too much it will go in front the things that are more defined tend to go uh, tend to go uh, forward and if we define too much something that is um, on the other side we tend to spoil the three-dimensional impression here we go that's some more line and now let's go to dark and the darks you see we we go um, layer after layer we don't we don't darken everything in the first um, in the first try even be even if even because if we do something wrong it's very hard to correct it if we have gone in full depth with the shadows very dark is there's too much graphite to to correct this cast shadow must be very dark because it, it must make the head stick out of the of the paper and here see adding contrast always adds volume always add tridimensionality I always suggest to to do something to draw something white and to draw something black just to, to make it easy <laughs> just to make it clear in the easy way something black and something white always go always no. I I always go from the full depth of dark and light it gives more more space to to the illusion of form here we have this dark part which is in the shadow we wanted to make stick out not so dark as the the cast shadow because it, it is not and yet and it has some if you see uh, some reflected light in it and here we go to the four we draw some more hair to render the illusion here here we go less is more when drawing <laughs> when drawing four all at least in this way of drawing four the old adage the old saying that less is more it's it's real and this shadow here and here you see adding tone making it dark it makes the light stick out more we're going we're heading to the end let's add some sun detail let's make a little more illusion here I like this little little 
yeah, it gives more movement and more the illusion of fur. And then some hair. You see, I, I, I use shadow to, to make the illusion. I use the transition between, between shadow and light to, to, to give the illusion of fur. And then I go full on dark. It's the moment of drawing really the dark spots to make them really deep. Go here, this here, this one. This is this is a good, nice shadow. Make it look like like he's he, he's smiling, you know. You see also the photo. It's it's a smiling goat. You see the angle of the mouth is up. There's a little shadow here. Yeah, I like it. You see, added some. Added something. That little shadow on the eye gave a more, more impression of realism. And here, a little shadow, flat. I don't need to make it heavy. And there, the neck, just to make the head stick out. Just underplay the parts that are not your main focus, just to make your main focus stick out. Let's correct, let's make more of the, and then, here we go, a little background. I always, I oftentimes love the counter contrast of putting a more dark background on the lighter part and we're finished. Bye.